Hello guys, welcome back to a Tour Only Guys video. I think I may have missed the beginning. Uh, hello guys, beginning. welcome back to the Tour Only Guys video, and we're doing a Birmingham City Evan Day thing. Birmingham City Evan, yeah. For paramedic science, guys. Yeah. Can we just go back for 10 seconds? That was horrible. <laughs> hello guys, and welcome back to a Tour Only Guys video. We're going to be doing a Birmingham City. Oh, is that backwards? No, it will go backwards when. Uh, <laughs> well, is it? <laughs> This ain't going well. Right, let's start again. Put that probably in the beginning, yeah. Yeah. Stay for the rest of the video, please. Don't dislike this. Hello, guys. Welcome back to a tour in guys video. It's not backwards. And today we're going to be doing a paramedic science video, a review on our opinion on paramedic science in at Birmingham City. The Birmingham University. City University. Yes. So, a quick re 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 recap of the entry requirements of Birmingham City University, if you don't know. You need. Depends what you've what you've studied, A levels, B tech, or whatever. A B B B for A levels. Uh, B tech extended diploma, D D M. Um, blah, 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 blah. And you need at least five GCSEs at grade four or above, including English language, a maths, and a science. But they can be equivalent. That's important. Uh, if you've got functional skills uh, that you want to do. Maths and English and science, you could do that. Yeah. Something to bear in mind. So, year one uh, for paramedic science, you'll be doing, you'll be developing your clinical yeah, practice. It's more um, within class, so you're learning academic side of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you learn the, uh, yeah, you're just learning in year one. So basically, you're learning about the anatomy, yeah, what, um, you'll, be doing, what you'll be doing on What you'll be doing on placement, yeah. you're Did developing as really. a professional, you're Basically, like it says here, the foundations of paramedic practice. So you'll be learning, you know, the foundation of what you will be doing. It's really quite self-explanatory. Yeah. Really. An introduction to professional development and responsibilities. What your responsibilities are as a professional in the ambulance yeah, service. Yeah, as, as you, as a student, what your responsibility is to, yeah, the, re the rest of the ambulance crew. You're like, you're, you're an extra part to what they are doing. I thought that beer was going to come in the window. That if that beer came in here, I would That would have made a fun video. I would run <laughs> out there. Uh, yeah, year two is more... Space. Yeah, it says here, what you've learned. advancing clinical practice. Yeah. So, the practice you learn on year one, your clinical practice, you'll you be advancing onto it. Into practice. And by yeah. the way, in year one, you will, I think you do go on to placement. Um, I think it's less nearer placement. to the end. Yeah, it's less you don't placement do it as than it is on year two. Uh, clinical decision making and diagnosis. So, you could be um, learning what you would do, so where you would put that. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Clinical decision making would be you you're seeing these signs and symptoms. That's, and that's a, what I was trying you, to say. You're making a decision on what that patient might have, and and, and trying to say? avert him into the right direction, so like yeah. the GP or so social you're put, worker. You're basically the start of their pathway. Yeah. So if you see that they are showing signs of maybe sepsis, <laughs> my grandma so, died of yeah. sepsis. Showing signs of sepsis, you'll be putting them on that pathway. And yeah, you just basically kick starting it. Yeah, there's another one you'll be doing maternity and um, paediatric care. What are you doing? Carry on. Uh, paediatric, so working with the children, obviously delivering mm. babies, which is all exciting stuff, guys. Looking forward to that. Trauma, advanced life support, which is what they guys showed us on the open day, the scenario, yeah, we'll go which we'll come back to that in a minute. Yeah. And applied bioscience, which sounds interesting. That sounds really like important. In depth, mm. yeah. Year three. After that, we're going to go on to what we think of university. Year three, the application of research and the evidence base. Um, assessment and management of minor illnesses. So little things that you, you probably will be doing. On the open day, sorry for the disruption. I think you're saying on the open day, yeah, there's not many researchers within oh, yeah. the ambulance service. Yeah. There's a lot within the hospitals, and that's where the ambulance service get their research yeah. from. There's no researchers as paramedics that like mm. for example they might be pulling adrenaline from a paramedic's kit because some people believe that it don't actually work in like arrest situations like it will keep them alive for about a couple minutes but after the adrenaline wears off they basically pass away again but yeah, i don't yeah. think it, it i don't think the ball's quite got rolling for that so at birmingham city university it's quite a small campus yes um, this, this is from mine and Jacob's opinion. City South questions Campus. Of it, it? City South Campus. Mm. It's quite small, but I think that's important because yeah. you're going to be working with a range of healthcare professionals along the board. So nursing, midwifery, uh, all the professionals you want to be, you will be working with. I think... Social it, work. Yeah. I think it being smaller... I think that's better. Yeah, allows mm. 
the tutors to focus on you as a paramedic. Yeah. And as a learning paramedic. And I think I think that's a lot better because the tutors are absolutely amazing. They have they're oh. all practicing paramedics. They all they're all in on yeah, they've they're even, in service, mm. um, actually working, which is important. Learning the subject you mm. want to do. So say if you the you, knowledge always say if you're learning today. media studies and they are in the media industry, you'd find that really good because they're in the media studies. Mm. They've got loads of experience. <laughs> so if they're all in the ambulance service or you know progressed up, there's one lady who you know the college fr- college of framework paramedic uh, college of paramedics. You've got like a circle it goes out. And you go out like and a out. dartboard. Like a dartboard. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. A dartboard. She's a, a, a millimetre from the centre. Yeah. So she's she, at the minute, she's the, the specialist paramedic. Mm. Um, and she's got a couple of months left until she's a consultant paramedic, which is the highest you can go as a paramedic. So, yeah, well done to her, really. Well done to her. And Come you've on. got that knowledge. On, of her. Yeah, on that team. Of her. On that like tutorial team. And you've got all this knowledge. And fresh knowledge as well, because they're mm. all, like, practising paramedics. Yeah. And you've got all this fresh knowledge, and you know you won't be getting, like, knowledge from ten years ago that isn't really mm. relative now. You're getting the newest. Two things I picked up from the open day. They've got the biggest library. I can't remember where they... could they, have, like, the biggest library. They could have the in biggest the library campus. in the campus. <laughs> yeah. Or in the world. <laughs> or in the England. They said they've got the biggest campus. I can't remember... Biggest library Where they campus. said, biggest, what? You said biggest campus. Bugger it. <laughs> biggest library. Uh, but also, they've got um, a space lab. Basically what that is, is say if you wanted to learn cannulation or, you know, anything you want, you want to be working on CPR, mm. something you're not, you didn't really get in the, on the, the talks or you did, you know, the, yeah. uh, what's it called? In your training. So when you the, feel the like you need to kind of like that, work, work up. On. Yeah, work on, you say could, if like, you're struggling with cannulation, you can go in there and learn more about it. It's basically yeah. like this classroom where they have a lot of dummies. Yeah. And may, they might have like some students in there that are volunteering. But not only that, you could you could meet a lot more students. So mm. like nursings or any, all the, across the board, you can meet a lot of people in there. Mm. And I think that's quite good. Um, interacting with students that are on your, your wavelength and, mm. you know, because you don't really have a social life that much in them sort of courses, no, do you? I've got you know? So if you think you're going to have a social life, you're not. No, if you're going to uni to it's like more, I'm not saying you're only going to uni for like just the fun side. If you're going to uni for the experience as well and for the drinking fun side, making friends. If that's the case, make it useful in freshers because yeah, have yeah, do it, do it all in freshers week basically. Yeah. And do not do it as you're practicing because it'll be really hard on you and you'll find that you're gonna like get behind. Quite With Birmingham easily. City University, um, you have an opportunity. I'm not saying you you will go, but you do have an opportunity to go abroad with the course. Um, I think year two or year three um, went to like an exchange thing and went abroad to. I can't remember where it was. Don't say. The I don't want to say like Latvia because I don't think it was Latvia. Um, and I get it wrong and then people be offended. But they went abroad and it looked honestly amazing. Yeah, it did look great. Um, they took part in a couple of competitions. They probably too. learned so much there. Yeah. Um, and they they took did a competition. I'm not sure. They went Australia. Was it? Yeah, they went Australia. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, Australia. Two students went Australia. I, I remember it now. Good day, mate. So never do that again. No, no, no. Please never do that again. I'm, I'm leaving. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, they also have this immersive classroom, oh. and the immersive classroom is absolutely brilliant. It's basically they have this projector, and it kind of projects a scene on these walls. What? I'm um, so it's basically. Oh, okay. What you um, mean? They you know, basically project the scene on on these walls, and then um, it's really immersive as they can put smells in there. They yeah. can put like explosions in there, and have these different st- scenes like a snowy environment in a field, maybe in a like classroom, also even in a nightclub. They put on a nightclub on yeah, there. Yeah, that's weird. As we're like in the middle of the room talking to these students, getting more ex- like kind of getting their opinion on the uni. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think it's absolutely brilliant. The mannequins are brilliant. They have like they're really realistic. Yeah. the mannequins. I think go to the open day. Really, I don't, I don't go the to the open day. Yeah, just go to the open day. It's register. Brilliant. I'm going to put a register. You know, for the open days down below. Mm. Also, so they have the paramedic science has a social media accounts, Twitter and Facebook. We'll Make sure there. you follow them. Uh, it's really important. You can ask your questions. If we can't answer them, answer your questions to them. Ask your questions. Answer your questions. You can't do that. Ask a question to them. They know more, probably, than us. We 
we're only speaking on behalf of what they've told yeah, us. Yeah, and our, on our experience. Really on our experience. Well. They also have the biggest x-ray machine, don't they? Not the biggest. They have a working x-ray oh, yeah, um, work department in there. Um, Jacob wanted to scan his knee because he fell down the stairs. Yeah, I fell down the stairs in Ben New Street. It was, um, we were being late for the train. I was kind of like falling with style, kind of like downstairs, skipping the stairs. Jacob, he fell down seven stairs. Yes. Carl said, oh my God, that is so cool. How did you? And as he was saying that, I, like, oh, mm. that many. No one stopped, did they? No. So I turned around and went, oh my god, are you okay? As soon as got, we kind of lost interest. No, by the, time, by the time he said, okay, he was gone. Yeah. He, he was just walking around the corner. Oh my god, are you okay? Then I, I was just trying to walk off like, this does not hurt at all. He, he had tears in his eyes. I was like, Jacob, you alright? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Just the gas in here. In between. <laughs> um, so placement. No we need, exactly. we need, stop. We need to talk about placements because it's important. Um, if you want to go with West Midlands Ambulance Service, you can't. You can't, basically. It's East, yeah. Mid East, it's East Midlands. Midlands Ambulance Service. Which is okay, it's not bad. I don't mind. I, mm, I mean... No. Um, it's all the same. But you do need to consider travelling as well, mm. because you could be going to like Lincoln, uh, which is quite far from Birmingham, if you don't know. Um, it's quite far. Um, they have a population of 4.8 million people, that which you could be... You know, they cover 4.8 million population, which is quite a big I think... population. I think West Midlands is more... I'm not too sure. I think, I think they, in the commentary they were saying West Midlands Ambulance seven. Service was the second biggest yeah. rival to London. London. Um, also, if you're working with East Midlands Ambulance Service, you'll be kind of working with a wide range of stuff. So you'll be in rural areas, mm. the city, whether in the West Midlands, it's quite a lot of cities in the West Midlands. Yeah. So you might be more in the city. It just depends if you want that experience within the rural areas. Mm. I probably said that really horribly, but yeah. There's, for me, there's so many things I could talk about Birmingham City University. Yeah, I think it'll be a very long and it, video. I can't cram it all in. Um, if you want to add me and Jacob, say, on social media, uh, we'll leave them down below. You can yeah, ask questions on Instagram. there. Um, yeah. Because I can't say all the things that I want to say on here. I mean, we're going for 11 minutes now. It's going to be a long one <laughs> if we do that, in yeah. short. Um, also, the paramedic page down below, um, if you want to ask any questions... They know what they're talking about. Yeah, they're really good. And they're really supportive. A lot of positive criticism. Yeah. They they basically will tell you yeah, how straight. to improve, basically. Which is really good. And you need to take that criticism well mm. if you're going into the ambulance service. You're always going to get criticised. Um, you need commitment for the course. Definitely commitment. Yeah. Like, um, like we said. And a, a good thing he said, week. when you qualify, they actually welcome back students to come and teach back. Yeah, and you um, get like a bonus. I think you yeah. like... You get paid a lot of quite a lot of money. I think um, it's like twenty pound an hour. Or is that? Just mm, me? I think that's I think about sixteen it. about sixteen pound yeah. an hour. Uh, so, if you find that interesting and you'd like to teach, you like teaching like one or two lessons. Mm, if you want to come back to university, but but me and teach your skills to others and progress. Yeah, that's something. That you, You're right. Got a lot of wind. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> um, if, um, also, if you find teaching good, uh, if you've got like kind of a knack for teaching, you can do that. Uh, let's try to wrap up the video with giving our opinions. Yeah. yeah. What would you rate Birmingham City University? Out of 10, a strong 8 or 9 because... I'd say 9. It's small but humble and you get you get focused on more whether in your other unis because they have a lot of intake you won't get focused on as much. Okay, so we've got Coventry. These are all the our five options. Coventry, Birmingham. This, this is not in order, by the way. Coventry, Birmingham, Wolverhampton, Worcester... Staffordshire, where would you put Birmingham City on that five? Oh, don't do that. Well, at this moment, I'd put Coventry, then Birmingham. Mm. It's constantly swapping places, mm. honestly. But yeah, what about you? I'd say Birmingham top. I would mm. honestly say Birmingham top. I think as we go to the other open days, it's going to confuse us even more. But I do like the look of Staffordshire. Yeah. But definitely, sound. guys, Birmingham ha is very good. Yeah, it's got my You heart. need to go to the open days. Mm. Register for the open day down below. Talk to the people you want to yeah. talk to. But it's been Kyle and Jacob. Turn on, guys. Turn on, guys. Stay ordinary. Stay ordinary.